Hello everybody, welcome to Premier League Predictions Week 13. Before I get started and introduce ourselves, and you probably know us anyway, I would like to thank all of you. We are over 400 subscribers right now. We have over 2,100 minutes of watching. Interestingly, we have 7,514 views, so that means that people are watching this for like less than a half a minute at a time. But we love you nonetheless, keep clicking. So thank you. That's and not the case. <laughs> Um, right. The stats I'm, are wrong. I'm Tom. I support Man United. This is Ian. I'm Ian. I don't support Man United. And welcome to Premier League Predictions. Um, Ian, should we get into this? Let's go straight into it. Game number one, Thomas. Uh, Brighton and Hove Albion versus Leicester City. I'm going Leicester. I'm going to now. I'm going with Brighton. And I'm going to go with my favourite scoreline in the world. 2-1. 2-1. Next match, Everton at home to Cardiff City. I've got to go with another home win again today. Everton, Everton have been strong at home. 2-0 uh, Everton. I'm going to go 3-0 to the Blues. Or the Toffees even. The Toffee, Toffee Blues. The Toffee Blues. Um, Cardiff are the Blues. Blue Birds. Well, they are. Oh, this is awkward. Oh my god. Definitely the Toffees then. Who are you going for? The Toffees. Okay. Cardiff win then. Okay. Game number three, Fulham versus Southampton. <laughs> what a shit fest. I'm going to go new manager bounce, yep. Fulham, by Ian's favourite score of 2-1. 2-1. Uh, I also think Fulham will win this. I think they will we'll get the bounce. I'm going to go for <sighs> Southampton aren't a great side. 3-0 Fulham. 3-0 Fulham, right. Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. Three o'clock game on a Saturday for Man U. I know. What's this all about? It's a sad time. To uh, I, I think Man United bounced back from the derby. Again, I think this is going to be typical Man U, scrap it out 2 1. I, I hate to do this, but Man United 2 1. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. You, you can't see him not conceding. Yeah. Um, Watford playing host to Liverpool. Oh, God. This could be any scoreline in the world. Um, so let's go crazy with it. Uh, Watford 2, Liverpool 3. I'm going to go Liverpool 3, Watford 1. Okay. Uh, West Ham United hosting Manchester City. Um, I'm going to go Man City 4-0. When was the last time they didn't score uh, three uh, or four goals? Hard to argue. Uh, I am going to go... I'll go 3 now. Evening game on a Saturday, Tottenham Hotspur versus Chelsea. This should be good. This should be good. Uh, I, I reckon it will be. I'm going to go with a one all draw. Are oh, you? Yeah. 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 Um, I'm going to go... I haven't done any draws yet, but I think that Chelsea will nick this. Yeah. And I think they're going to nick Two it by one. a goal to nil. Oh, a goal to nil. Right, Ian. So maybe not as exciting as our scoreline suggests. As well, I mean, I don't want all. <laughs> and what, are, are going to be a nil-nil classic. A nil-nil. No, one nil Chelsea. It's like a basketball game, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like Fulham, Fulham versus Huddersfield. <laughs> okay, on to Sunday's games. Uh, the opening early thriller is oh. AFC Bournemouth versus Arsenal. Oh, this should be goals. I'm, I'm gonna. I know you're gonna pick Bournemouth to win this, so I'm gonna say Arsenal. Haven't been great lately, but they nick this. They do. They don't nick it. They get a draw. One one. You heard it here first. Bournemouth three, Arsenal one. Could easily be. Could easily be. Alan so, someone, someone's gonna take this Arsenal side to town because they're so bad at the back. The, 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 someone eventually is going to score goals sure. past them, yeah. Might be City when they play next. It might well be, but it could well be Bournemouth. It could, it could. Uh, uh, and the, the other game is an absolute barn burner. Wolverhampton Wanderers, Huddersfield Town. I'm going to go Wolves. Yeah. I'm going to go 1-0 though. Okay, I'm going to go with... I, mean, I think it's going to be a draw. Wolves are a funny side. Uh, I'm going to go 1-1. Right, in the final match of the week, it gets even more exciting than the last couple ties. If you haven't had your fill of Premier League games, you Monday night is where you cash in. In the highlight of the day, we see Burnley Football Club playing Newcastle United Football Club. Nil nils. He's going nil nils. I'm gonna go uh, Burnley two nil. If Newcastle win that, somehow they'd have won three games in a row. I know. 
<laughs> Total insanity will reign. Bradford City versus Oxford United. We're at Bradford in the table, yeah? Bradford, the bottom of the league. Right, well, I think it'll be the 10th unbeaten match for Oxford United, and I think it's going to end 2 all. 2 all. Okay. They can't win away from home. Oxford have offered this game uh, for a quid for fans. And um, Bradford. And my, my mate David Harris bought me a ticket, oh. knowing full well that I wasn't going to go. <laughs> um, and thank you very much, Dave. That's great. And you are a far better Oxford fan than me going up to these away games. Uh, Oxford win this one. I'm going to say Oxford win this one by three goals to one. It'll be the first away win of the season. It certainly will be. So, mystery game. I've picked a mystery game for you, Tom. Man, we're, man, man, man. we're going into League Two. Okay. How's your knowledge on League Two? Extensive. Hazy at best, would you say? So I'm, I'm like I'm like a man <laughs> on the on his 40th birthday going out for drinks. All of a sudden it's 3 a.m. and I've had four bottles of wine at least. <laughs> yeah, that is my knowledge. Oh of the my league god, that, that's heading for me soon. <laughs> Worryingly, I can't wait to be there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am going to pick Northampton Town mm -hmm. versus Grimsby. Well, as Northampton are near us, I'm going to pull for the home team that's near me, and I'm going to go Northampton 3-2 to the Grimsby Town. <laughs> you're going to go, so you're going to go Northampton to win, to lose 3-2, or Northampton to, to win. win? Okay, right, um, I will... Uh, I can't accept Brim Grimsby winning a football match. I'm going to go for the Mariners. Go on, you Mariners! 2-0 win for the Grimsby boys. Oh, they're Mariners? Certainly yeah. Out. The Seattle Mariners versus the Cobblers. I just like to finish by saying I am two nil up. You are two nil up. Now. Are there prizes? This there, there aren't any prizes. I was hoping you'd bring something back from well, maybe, maybe wherever you were. You were in Iceland for I a week, and you Iceland. didn't bring me back any frozen pizzas. You didn't bring me any puffins. But you know what? Everything I did bring back, no palm oil. Yeah. Um, Ian, I'd like to suggest a friendly wager. Clothing. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that at the end of this, we'll have a, a, a columnative token. Yes. There, and there will be essentially a winner and a loser. Mm -hmm. And I think the loser has to buy the winner dinner. That's fine. That sounds good. And drinks. And drinks. And drinks. Yes, I agree to that, Tom. Let's do it. Okay. That dinner is mine. It probably is. Come <laughs> on, Mackie D's. Okay. The winner gets to pick where dinner is. Mackie D's. Breton Cafe. You're probably gonna win, so yeah. The Breton Cafe. Breton International Cafe of Crepes. Excellent. Right, this video's gone on far too long. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, everybody. See you next and we'll see you soon. Time.